All right, hi Cancers. My name is Bevy, but I'm your spiritual host here at Waterside Tarot. Um, I'm gonna be doing a, I'm gonna use this back. I'm gonna do a general reading for you for the first half of February. So whatever needs to come out will come out. Um, just remember it is a general message, so it may not all resonate with you. Just take what does um, and leave the rest for whoever that's meant for. If you like the video, Whoever resonates, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to give away 10 free readings when I hit 200 subscribers. Um, one question reading. And um, if you would like a reading that's $20, you can either DM me on Instagram at bevybud or my email is down below. Um, so let's jump into this. Oh, hold on. Okay. All right, Spirit, thank you for your guidance. Please provide me a clear message for Cancer for the first half of February. For Cancer, the first half of February. I think you're coming to the end of some cycle. Because I see the death came out and the devil just popped out as I'm shuffling. I think you're coming to some realization about some toxic trait you might have within yourself or that's surrounding you. And you're putting an end to it. All right, let's see. Uh, transformation and judgment. Yeah, you're coming to a decision about something and you're transforming from it. It's making you a better person and you're taking a whole new direction. Ooh, with the sun card. A new positive direction. All right, let's jump into it. I think we're ready. Oh. What is the present energy for Cancer for the first half of February? Cancer, first half of February. Okay, so you're really focused on your money right now, your finances right now. Um, I'm feeling like whatever is coming to an end, whatever cycle you're coming to an end to, probably has to do with your love life. And that's what's pushing you to really redirect your attention to your finances, your career, building something. This is that energy of reaping what you sow. So if you've been working hard towards something, like you're now, yeah, wish fulfillment because I see the chariot popping out with wish fulfillment so I feel like this is you putting that love into yourself and going on a whole passionate new direction forward with by yourself it's not like you're bringing somebody with you you have the sun here as well so it's like that positive new direction right wish fulfillment going after what you want and what you deserve and what you feel you deserve so you're working really hard towards something and you are going to reap what you're so but this nine of pentacles is very much like a single energy, like being by yourself, being single, being strong by yourself, being that independent um, person. I can see that because I'm definitely there <laughs> and I'm a cancer. But um, so you're going on a new passionate direction by yourself. Like you're, you're not really opening yourself up to love. You're just in your own single energy by yourself, growing your finances, growing your success when it comes to your career and just focusing on, on that and putting the love into yourself so that you can be a whole person. So when love does come around, um, it'll be two whole people and not two half people trying to complete each other. It'll be like a power team instead of um, a power team dynamic instead of like one person taking more than the other or it's going to be a mutual thing, which I think is really good. I can see a lot of my uh, cancers are in the same type of energy as me. All right, let's see. Past energy. Ooh. Okay. Past energy. Interesting. It's funny because I see I see the growth, right? You actually skipped eight, but you went from seven to eight. So there was definitely a growth when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your money or how you view your money and your stability, right? It could have been that you had it the whole time, but there was a point of time in your life where you struggled and you were always kind of in that that struggling energy where you got so used to always having to go, 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 go just to make ends meet. Um, that now that you're more stable and you have more of a solid ground, it's like you, um, even when you had it, when you were reaping what you sow, you were reaping the success from your hard work, you were still in that energy feeling like you didn't have enough. So that could have been, um, it could have been that for some of you. And then you kind of came in this state of really understanding that you have that stability now, you have that wish fulfillment. Um, the other option is that it could have been more that you had a lot of opportunities that came to you, a new opportunity that came, something when it comes to money or growth um, that 
you could have also created in that same dynamic, you could have created these opportunities for yourself by being a really hard worker. Um, because it's, it's usually somebody that's, <laughs> sorry, that wasn't supposed to happen, but it's usually somebody that, um, let me line you back up. There you go. Okay. Um, so it's usually somebody that I don't want to start that over. So you guys are just going to have to deal with that. Um, it's somebody that like came from a place like they, you may have came from poverty or came from hard times. Um, at some point in your your life, right, and you learn to grow something out of it. It's like that that flower in the concrete garden type of idea, right? So it's like you instead of just sitting here and being like, "Well, I'm broke, I'm poor, I don't have this," and and taking the wrong opportunities to try to grow or stealing or doing the wrong things, you worked hard, you busted your your ass to to um to grow this right you just had to have patience while it grew it's like you i think you saw these opportunities and you were so excited like yes this is it this is it this is it that you were like grabbing for it type of energy where it told you it taught you that you had to have patience and allow it to come to you um but you definitely created these opportunities for yourself and it was a period of um compliment that like of um contemplating like what you wanted to do I see that you were in that period and, and then you pushed forward, right? And now it's like this energy of moving forward and um, in your power and actually the motion forward, like where, where there's is like these opportunities were coming and you didn't know which way to go, right? And you were contemplating what to do, taking the patience to really balance it and figure out the best choice. Um, the choice you made, it doesn't seem like it was a bad choice because now you're in the power of yourself, you're growing yourself. You're reaping what you sow and you have your wish fulfillment here. So you have two nines. Um, two, nine, nine, you might want to look up that spirit number. I'm not really sure what it means off the top of my head, but you're, you're definitely, I think it's a pretty spiritual number, but um, you're, you're kind of in your own power now. It's like nobody can stop you. You're in this energy of I'm going to make shit happen and I'm going to have what I want out of life. So it's like you're very much, you're on go when it comes to your finances and, and pushing forward and you're taking these opportunities and you grabbed onto them and you decided to push forward and do something with them. Um, if you haven't seen these these opportunities yet, they, they could be coming or it could be something that you just missed out on. But I mean, this is pretty good energy, so I don't feel like you missed out on this. I think you took hold and went for it. What's the future energy? Yeah, here's a sun core just popped out. A positive new direction. So you're definitely taking it. This is so beautiful. You're getting your wish fulfillment. You're 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 stable. You're in your power. <laughs> this was just sitting on my bed. My bed. I don't know how, but it's a new direction for love too. So you do have love coming in. A new direction for love. There could have been something you needed to to cut off with in your love life, or um, maybe something that that was holding you back. Maybe some kind of pain, some kind of hurt. Um, it could have been a person that you had to cut off so that you could take this positive direction for yourself. But I see a new new love coming in. I see this new start for love. And it's going to be a really, whatever you decide to take, whatever you're leaning towards right now in this energy, it's what you need to go for because it's going to bring you exactly what you want. It's the, the positive new direction. So this is what's going to put you in the right path. This is what's going to help you continue to grow your income, your stability. But you're going to be growing together and you're both going to be in that new positive light growing together. Like this is the person that, and look, 10 of cups just popped out. This is the person that can give you everything you wanted. You might be denying it, I hope not, but they could really, um, because I know how cancers can be. I, you might be overthinking it, but this, this is really something that can make you really happy. And I think that's why right now you need to kind of go on this, because this is cancer energy as well. Um, it's like you need to go on your own little path right now. It's almost like you need to heal or deal with whatever is making you fearful of this new love. Mother of Cups just came out. That's Cancer Gemini energy. Somebody that's listening to you. You need to listen to your inner guidance. You need to listen to your soul. You need to listen to the messages that Spirit's sending you and stop misinterpreting them. Whatever comes to you first, listen to that. Don't overthink it. And listen to your heart because it's trying to guide you in this direction. Yeah, I feel like right now, because at the bottom we have two tens here too. So we have tens that came out and um, nine. So I feel like you went through something. It could have been a past love. It could have been friends that hurt you. But somebody put you in a bad place. They put you in this place of like you were feeling betrayed or hurt or resentful. And it was making you, it was maybe making you not see this for what it was. 
Um, but I think you took all the right steps because I see that you had opportunities come when it comes to finances. It could have been with love too because you do have the new start for love here. But you took the time, you took the patience within yourself to try to balance yourself, give yourself that self-love so that you could really go after your wish fulfillment and have that stability you want with finances. Because whoever this person is that's on your mind as you're listening to this, whoever you're thinking of, that's your person and that's that's who you need to take this new start in love with because you have this sun here and this is every confirmation from spirit that you need to go for it and you need to take this opportunity because they can make you happy. They could give you everything that you want. They could take you from these nines that you're in right now by yourself. These nines with this wish fulfillment and this pentacles, they can give you that ten of cups. They can give you all the love, the stability you want with that. They can give you the ten of pentacles. I bet you it's going to come up. At, yeah, lovers just popped out. And another card that's all about transformation, like you coming out of the darkness and transforming into a better person. Um, wow, this is beautiful. So you guys are going to have that love. Shit, I hope this is my spread. I hope it particularly resonates with me as a cancer. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, you're, you're moving in the right direction. So just keep healing yourself. You're the magician. So you have the ability to make whatever you want, manifest whatever. Look at the <laughs> two of cups. Your love's coming in. New path in love. This is your soulmate. This person, you're the magician. You're able to manifest whatever you want. You need to come out of judgment, okay? So with judgment in reverse, what I'm feeling is with that coming out at the bottom, I feel like it's almost like you're you're not coming to a decision. It's like you're overthinking it. I think you're still you're still kind of guarded from whatever happened to you in the past, whoever hurt you in the past, or maybe you just weren't somebody that was that ever really committed or it could just be that this person scares you so much that it's like you've never felt this way or this connection with somebody before and then they came in and it like you weren't expecting it it threw you off your, your guard and it's like now you're pulling away because you're trying to guard yourself but you're all you're doing is blocking yourself from exactly what spirit brought for you about exactly what they wanted you to have because of your own fears which I think that's why it's important for you to go within and really um and really heal yourself and really think about this listen to that inner guidance in your heart because with the judgment uh, judgment in reverse it's like there's a need for you like it's a long overdue justice it's like a need for you to move forward and go after what you want and stop being scared like be passionate about it let go of the past and move forward okay especially with the the page of cups like it could also be um that you need to give out an apology to somebody or somebody needs to apologize to you and that could be coming in But either way, there is a need for you to move forward with this love situation because this is going to continue you down that positive path that you need to take. It's going to help you get to that that ten, so those tens instead of sitting at this nine. Like this is your positive new path, and it's going to bring you the financial success you want. It's going to bring you the balance in your life, and it's going to bring you the love. But you just got to stop being scared. Let go of the past. Like it keeps telling you, let go of the past. Your soulmate is here. Look at this. After star card comes out. After you've been through a lot of bullshit, like you went through a lot of shit and you still came up on top. But with these two together, like this is all about a positive new direction. Take it. Take it. What's the above? Above. Ooh. Yeah, you're coming out of some disillusion. It's funny because you have the Ten of Cups on your mind. Like what you want is love. What you want is stability. But you're holding yourself back because this person's already here. This person's already here. And I think you're coming out of this, this illusion about the whole situation. You may have um, you may have pushed somebody away and that's where this apology is needing to come in. Or maybe they pushed you away and now you're seeing that it was really just out of fear. Um, that they, they were fearful because there was such a deep connection that you guys just didn't... You felt like you, it was too much. Ten of Pentacles keeps popping out too. Whoever this person is, whatever disillusion you're coming out of, it also could have just been from the past hurt, right? It could have been that you were like, oh, they're just going to be like the rest, da 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 da, and they're really not that person. But all you have on your mind right now is this Ten of Cups, like this love, this solid situation. The Four of Pentacles or Four of Wands just came out, which is about a new commitment. I think you just need to man the fuck up or woman the fuck up and um go for it and stop being fearful like stop overthinking it stop thinking it's going to be like the past right give this person the, the benefit of the doubt and and really move forward into it and yeah there was some kind of heartbreak that came out but you are the magician 
You have the ability to manifest this Ten of Cups that you want. You have the ability to manifest the Ten of Pentacles that you want. Ten of Pentacles is even better than Ten of Cups because that's the stability too. That's that foundation that is not just the love part. It's also the foundation with finances, okay? You have the ability to do this, but you're, you just have to keep working on that self-love, healing from the past and moving forward. Because you can have your wish fulfillment and you can reap what you sow, but it's all about what you're putting out and... You guys, you have this new start in love and it's like literally the sun card is with it. It's for you. It's meant for you. Take it. If an apology needs to be given, give it. And I bet you it'll turn out exactly how you want because this is, this is soulmate connection. This is divine connection. This person's meant for you. Subconscious. Yeah, you're going through major transformation, major growth. You're healing. Um... And I think that might have been why you you kind of either if they you pulled away or they pulled away from you because they could have realized that you there was things that you needed to work on for yourself, right? All right, I just got a call and I think that was the spirit's way of telling me that when I picked the phone back up, it was upside down. But the message is important, so I'm not gonna restart it. You're just gonna deal with it being upside down for part of it. But um, anyway, what I was saying was that you guys are going through major transformation, okay? You're really working on yourself, and this could have been what um caused the disillusion because you were seeing things from a past perspective or um thinking that the past was going to come back or this person was just like the past or whatever it is um they could have seen that you were trying to transform and this is, could have been what pushed them push them away i do think it could be somebody you already know um it could also be new love coming in i could see that too um but Keep working on yourself because even with the chariot here, this is that self-love card. So you're really trying to show people who's boss and who's in control. Show them that you're not scared. You're using logic about the way you're going forward and you're showing people that you're in charge. You might be kind of reorganizing or restructuring your, your life or your lifestyle, trying to figure out how to balance everything, right? Um, but you're capable of doing it. You just have to want it. You have to want it. You can't just expect somebody to come running in. You had to put out that same energy. Um, all right. So now let's get into what's the advice. Advice. Advice for cancer. <laughs> I'm done. You guys need to get over yourselves. This is telling you, you have the idea in your head about the, the person that you want to have in this situation. The person you want, and if you don't know the person yet, you have an idea of what you want that person to be like, what you want them to act like or look like, manifest it. The magician came out for you like 20 different times, write it in a diary in detail about what you want out of this person. If you don't know them already, if there's, if you're listening to this and there's a specific person you're thinking about while you're listening to it, stop being fucking stupid because spirit is literally sitting here. This is confirmation like five fucking times. Like it's telling you, you have an idea in your head about the love that you want and the situation you want and how you want it to go. Take it. It's telling you to, to put this, this thought into action because that's going to bring you the positive outcome that you want. It's going to bring you everything you want, regardless of your fears. Ten of Pentacles just popped out too. Literally, it's going to bring you everything you want. Don't be fearful or you're going to miss out on an opportunity. External forces. External. Tower. Yeah, there was some, there's some tower. There's, everything's falling down around you. Um, and I think it's happening in order to put you on the right path. I think... Whatever happened in the past, there was these opportunities and there was this healing that needed to happen. There was this patience that needed to be within yourself so that you could find this self-love. But it's just like that um, card that just came out that I just showed you. I, don't, I didn't leave it out. But um, about like restructuring your life, restructuring your thought process and showing people who's king or queen. Tucci! why there's so many interruptions with your video but that that shit's gotta mean fucking something it's almost like i feel like the interruptions are coming so you can really like process what the fuck i'm saying or something i don't fucking know that shit's like there's been too many fucking issues with this video so far i don't understand but anyway let's clarify i haven't clarified any of these because the messages have been pretty clear but i'm gonna clarify the tower clarify the tower clarify the tower 
sure about this power. King of Pentacles. This is happening so that you can ground yourself in a way where you'll be stable, you'll be abundant, you'll have that love, you'll have that money, you'll have everything that you want. This is like that Ten of Pentacles. For you to get to the Ten of Pentacles, you need to be in your King of Pentacles um, foundation, right? So this tower moment happened because the way you are going isn't bringing you what you want and isn't going to. So the spirit said, fuck it, you're not getting it. Well, we're going to make it happen, right? And it's trying to teach you how to balance the two, right? To balance the two aspects of your life, the, the finance and the love. That's what I'm seeing throughout this whole reading, especially with the Nine of Cups here and the Ten of, Nine of Pentacles here. It's balancing learning how to balance the love situation and also that independence, right? You're so used to being by yourself, being that independent person um, that it's like, I feel like you're almost fearful of getting into a relationship with somebody because then you have to dedicate time to it and, and attention and love, right? Where you've been gotten used to just kind of doing your own thing. So um, it's trying, this tower moment's coming down to try to teach you this, to teach you how to balance both. And to get into your King of Pentacles energy, where it's like you're stable, you're abundant, and you're very, you think very logically, right? It's not all about hurt emotions or anything like this. Like, this is the, the divine masculine of the minor arcana. Like, he, he knows what the fuck he wants. He knows what's up, right? So it, it's all happening to bring you to that. Look, the musician came out again. You have the ability to manifest whatever you want to. But you've just got to, you got to move forward without being fearful. Like that full energy, just move forward. Move forward. All right, let's look at um, hopes and fears. Hopes and fears. You have the world. Man, oh, you have the ability. You're coming to the end of some cycle. That's why the tower came down. But you have the ability to create whatever you want. Like you can grow whatever you want from this. This you coming down, this tower moment coming down, crashing down is giving you the ability to regrow the correct way. Take this passionate new direction in love. Take this passionate new direction in finance and, and everything, right? To see clearly, come out of the fog of, of seeing, not seeing the right way, right? And don't be fearful of it. Be ready. Be ready for it. Be willing to, to move forward and not care. I mean, just not not care, but just see it. Not care about the past, like not let the past hold you back or your opinion of this person. Holy crap, all these cards just fell out. And guess what? The only one that flipped over, this is your soulmate. And you're you're literally about to lose out on an opportunity if you don't get your fucking shit together. Get it together. All right, let's see. Outcome. 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 Yeah, I think I want to say that this is the Eight of Pentacles. Like, this is really, this is that in between, that Nine of Pentacles and that Seven of Pentacles, right? So this is somebody that's working very diligently and very hard towards something. They're trying to build their home, build their empire. Like, look at how the um, spider is building like spiders every spider web is different they're very unique so it's like building this spider web it's creating and you're working really really hard to build that right but you got to remember when you're trying to build a home most people want to build that with a family right so you have to be willing like yes it's okay to be want to be independent and and do things your own way but you also got to be willing to build with somebody to really create that empire that you want Okay, um, let me clarify. But I do see you working really hard. It's funny because it ends with money. So your finances are, it's its almost like you're taking a step back though because you were in Wish Fulfillment and then you go to Eight of Pentacles, which is the working hard to get to Wish Fulfillment. Let's clarify. Eight of Queen of Wands. There could be, okay, so this person, um, they could be taking on fire energy. Could be Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. They could have that somewhere in their chart. But this is somebody that's very, like, they're very attracted to you and to many other people. Um, they're not somebody that's, they don't have to wait on anybody, right? They're not going to wait on anybody. They don't care to wait on anybody. Um, this could be the person that you're, you want to build this empire with, right? Because remember, I'm telling you about how you're working diligently, working hard to create this empire. And this could be the person you're thinking about. Remember that 
You could be a male or female in this King of Pentacles energy. You could just be in your masculine or feminine energy. This could be a male or female, right? Um, but this is somebody that's like, she's very nurturing and very loving, but um, she's very passionate too. But it's like, even look at the dragon. Like she can tame, came the wildest without force, just by nurturing, right? Just by loving. This is somebody that, that people look up to her and are just like fascinated with her because she's so unique and beautiful and has so much power within her. Um, this is somebody you would want to build this empire with. It's funny she came out because she or he, that energy came out because we were just talking about building an empire and opening up and allowing somebody else into it to build it with you so that you can be more successful. And that's what came out. I like that. So this could be the person that you're thinking about that you need to take this passionate new direction in love with. Because um, the, the spirit's guiding you to it. They're telling you take this new direction in love because you guys are going to build something wonderful together um, when it comes to finances. And a family and everything. It's going to be everything you ever wished for. What is the spirit oracle message? Spirit oracle message. Okay, giraffe. Aspire to higher knowledge and wisdom. This is listening to intuition. They're trying to guide you. Literally through this, they're trying to guide you. You want the cup, the love? They're telling you to take this idea and put it into action. Go after it. Okay. When you receive this card of higher wisdom, it suggests that you look beyond the limitations of your current circumstances and situation. Continue to fill your daily commitments and responsibilities diligently while you explore your life from a higher perspective. You may then see things very differently. Internal change inevitably follows, and this automatically reflects reflected in your world. So that was that internal, you guys, I told you, you guys were working on that inner love and letting go of something from the past. You are also asked to tune into your home planet in sleep or meditation and to connect to your ray of truth so that you can understand the true wisdom of your soul. Giraffe wisdom reminds you to act graciously with dignity, serenity, and balance at all times, and this will enable you to fulfill your dreams and your destiny. Stand in your power as a point of light. Um, I do think this message is mostly about, again, going within yourself and listening to what that inner guidance is telling you, what your spirits are telling you. Let, stop letting fear hold you back, because I think the fear was what was causing this delusion, and I think that's what you're coming out of now. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this, but you guys definitely have a good love coming to you. So don't be fearful of it because this foundation is coming down for this new love. But all right, Cancers, namaste.